New Zealand dollar is pretty strong against the US dollar this morning. It's over 77 cents, and that's despite some pretty weak data out on the uh, New Zealand economy yesterday. That data, I think, was uh, largely ignored by the market because a lot of uh, people were out on holiday with Auckland anniversary yesterday, so it was a pretty quiet day in the markets. Looking at that data, firstly, we had some very weak building consent uh, figures. Building consents dropped over 18% from November, and it's the weakest uh, December on, on record. It's a pretty soft outlook for the construction sector beyond the earthquake repairs that we're expecting, uh, if those low level of consents are anything to go by. And we're not seeing a lot of activity in the housing market at the moment, and uh, reflecting that was a very weak uh, credit statistics from RBNZ yesterday that are capturing that uh, weak demand for borrowing from households. So a little bit of encouragement in the, uh, in the business uh, credit, however, and the RBNZ will be, uh, will be pleased about that. One of the things we need to see over the, uh, uh, the coming years is an improving appetite and improving borrowings from, from businesses. Now onto the, uh, the currency levels. Uh, the New Zealand dollar is over 77 cents against the, uh, the US, but the Aussie dollar is back hitting uh, parity against the US, so we're trading at the same level against uh, that cross at the moment. The focus over there is on, uh, on the flood damage still, and we're still trying to uh, work out just the extent of the, uh, the damage over there. Elsewhere in markets, uh, a big focus is up in, uh, in the Middle East and the Egyptian uh, civil unrest. What that's uh, leading to is, is concerns about uh, transportation through the Suez Canal and uh, the bigger picture uh, concerns about stability in, the, in that region. And we're seeing the typical response, and that is higher oil prices. Uh, Brent crude uh, topped $100 uh, overnight. It's getting pretty expensive again, and uh, we may well see that flowing through to the, uh, the pump in the weeks ahead. For uh, closer to home, uh, the next year on, on commodity prices that affect farmers here is going to be at tonight's global dairy trade auction. It's a pretty big uh, week for data. Uh, we've got a, a Reserve Bank of Australia meeting today. Uh, the European Central Bank also meets later on in the week. Uh, for us, we've got labour market statistics this week for the fourth quarter. Today we get the labour cost index and the quarterly employment surveys, which give us a steer on wage inflation and we're expecting those numbers to be reasonably weak given the soft patch the economy has been going through. And on Thursday, uh, we get the Household Labour Force Survey, which gives us the unemployment rate. And we're expecting a very, very small expansion in the number of jobs within the economy, which will keep the unemployment rate steady at 6.4%. Speaking of labour markets, we also get the US labour market report on Friday night. That's the key non-farm payrolls report, and that'll round out a pretty busy week for, uh, for data. Mm -hmm.